Okay, the next Grand Canyon layer we're going to explore with this video is the Hermit Shale from the Permian period about 280 million years ago. It's this bright red unit right underneath the Coconino sandstone. So we can see the buff colored Coconino sandstone deposited by sand dunes uh, in a very dry arid climate uh, and then beneath that there's a real sharp contact i mean there's it's almost the you know one of the sharpest lines in terms of contacts between units that we see in the grand canyon it's actually just right above me here on the trail as well um, this contact between the coconino sandstone and the hermit shell and what's nice about this trail the grand view trail and you see it in other trails as well is um, the hermit shell usually doesn't form a lot of good outcrops and that's because it's very soft it's mainly composed of mud and so it forms slopes as opposed to the coconino sandstone which is a cliff former uh, the the hermit shale forms a, 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 a slope and then as we look down the hill we can start to see kind of like a series of cliffs and slopes and cliffs and slopes that's part of the supai group something i'll feature uh, in another video but we're going to focus here on the, the hermit shale from the permian um, at the time this rock was deposited, um, there was mountains and highlands in Colorado, the, what we call the ancestral Rockies, a, a set of mountains that predate the modern Rockies uh, by several hundred million years. And streams were flowing off of those highlands to the west, coming into the Grand Canyon region. But by the time they got to this area, they were broad, wide, meandering, kind of sluggish streams moving through the region and so the only particles they could really carry uh, were these mud sized particles so when you feel the um the hermit shale um you'll feel that it's it's kind of smooth to the touch again indicative of the fine grain nature of the material here uh, it's not the best shale shale typically is mud sized particles that breaks into flat layers and you can kind of see some of the the layering in here but I've always found the hermit shell in many places to be kind of blocky and maybe more appropriately it should be called a, a mudstone. But nonetheless, um, it has this characteristic brick red color to it. Uh, I believe in both the hermit shell and the coconino that they have found in the park in places um, trackways. So footprints of animals, mainly uh, reptiles, I believe. Uh, this, of course, these units predate the dinosaurs, so this is before dinosaurs uh, had evolved. Um, so it's quite a ways before that period of time. Um, but yeah, the hermit shale, big slope forming unit, characteristic brick red color uh, from floodplains and river systems that were flowing from the ancestral Rockies out to the east, westward towards the ocean during the Permian about 280 million years ago. So uh, a distinctive unit, if you see it in trails, it's, uh, it's got that characteristic red color, the very sharp contact with the overlying Coconino sandstone. I guess those are some of the highlights of the Hermit Shale here at the Grand Canyon.